Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelm, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. We have another jam-packed show for you tonight as we get set for a jam-packed weekend of Husker sports. Chancellor Ronnie Green will join us in about 20 minutes' time. And our two coming up, uh, as it will be Maddie Fowler Burkhart, and she'll stop by to discuss Husker softball's great start to the season. Then we'll hear from Beth Parks of a new opening store, Alumni UNL, as she'll give you some information on, on how to get some of the best memorabilia in town in uh, the upcoming spring game and beyond. And then Jeremiah Searles will give us some thoughts on Saturday's upcoming spring game. In other Husker sports news, yesterday Nebraska track and field saw three of their athletes honored by the Big Ten coming off their Pepsi Florida Relays meet last week. Darius Love took home track athlete of the week after winning his first outdoor race of the season, a 110 meter hurdles event in which he ran a time of 13.70. Mason Connor won Field Athlete of the Week after placing third in the high jump with a clearance of 7-1. And Jenna Rogers earned Women's Field Athlete of the Week, placing fourth with an outdoor person personal best high jump of 6 0 and a half, the seventh best mark in school history. Huskers track and field is back at it as we speak, competing at the John McDonald Invite in Fayetteville, Arkansas. In college hockey tonight, two Big Ten teams will have a chance to punch their ticket to the national championship. Michigan is currently battling Denver. It's a good one. 2-2 two two at the start of the third period. Back and forth goals in that one. Later tonight, Minnesota Mankato, Minnesota State that is, will try to take on and win an in-state battle against Minnesota. And that face-off is set for 7.30 p.m. Central. A win for both Michigan and Minnesota could set up yet another All-Big Ten National Championship, similar to what we saw with volleyball between Nebraska and Wisconsin. Over to pro sports in the NFL, Brian Flores' lawsuit against the NFL for racial discrimination has gained two more plaintiffs and three more defendants. Steve Wilkes, who's currently an assistant coach with the Carolina Panthers, is suing the Arizona Cardinals after he was fired from his head coaching role with the Cardinals in 2018. Longtime assistant in the NFL, Ray Horton, is suing the Titans after claiming his head coaching interview with them in 2016 was illegitimate. The coach who beat him out for the job, Mike Malarkey, supported this claim in a podcast in 2020 when he claimed on that podcast that the Titans ownership told him he'd be the head coach once the team had completed two interviews to satisfy the NFL Rooney, Rooney's rule, which one of those interviews being uh, the aforementioned Ray Horton. More to come on that ongoing story. It's opening night in the Major League of Baseball, and we've got some scores for you. Earlier today, Cubs closed it out against the Brewers 5-4. Guardians and Royals, it's a close one in the ninth. Trying to close it out are the Royals right now. They lead 3-1 to one in the bottom, uh, excuse me, top of the ninth. Pirates and Cardinals, St. Louis is up big in that one in the eighth as that one uh, is 5 nothing in favor of the Cards. Mets and Nationals are going to be delayed. Reds, Reds and Braves will start at 7 and at 8.38, it'll be Astros at Angels. And at 8.40, Padres at Diamondbacks. A quick check of the Masters scoreboard. South Korean Sung Jae Im leads at 5 under. And a little over a year and a half after a nasty car wreck, Tiger Woods is currently holding strong in 11th one stroke, one stroke under. That's your Sports Nightly ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelp. This is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. The 0-1 pitch to Max. Anderson hammers one to center, that's hit pretty well. Kern backing up, he's to the track, he's to the wall, and that ball is gone! Anderson gets a grand slam to dead center. Vickers 1-2, Squire swings and lifts a fly ball to center and deep. Fawcett going back, but it's gone! A home run for Abby Squire, her sixth of the year! 3-2 pitch on the way from Finney. Drill to left field. Going back is Trey Lipsy. He's looking up and it is gone! Luke Sartori drives it out of here, a grand slam. The wine and Hitchcock deals. And Kenny swings and lifts it. Deep left field, and it is gone off the scoreboard and left for a three-run home run. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Everett swings and hammers one to deep left center field. That is trouble, and that is gone. Griffin Everett gets a hold of one to left center, and the Huskers get the lead right back on the two-run shot. 10-4 Huskers in the sixth, the pitch. Squire swings and blasts it. Deep left center field and gone. A two-run home run for Squire. That'll end the game. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. 
Thank you. Welcome to another edition of Sports Diner here on the Huskers Radio Network. We're trying not to blow away today. Are you tired of the wind yet? <laughs> it is brutal today. It's <sighs> awful. My parents drove up and they're here and they could not believe they'd left like 90 degree weather and they said, what is going on? I think I saw a small child go by the window <laughs> up in the air a couple of minutes ago, or a small dog. Maybe it's a small dog. And they are still just out there working hard on the, sure on the new facility. So, I am told that by Saturday it's not going to be this windy. Thank goodness. I hope you're right. I hope you're, whoever your forecaster yeah. is is on the money Man. because it looks – it has been looking good, and it lo- yeah. still looks good. So yeah. let's let's keep it on that trajectory. And t- ticket sales have picked up this week. The ticket office has been busy getting orders. We're approaching 50,000. I knew once people saw the forecast, they would start coming. But you do want to order them online. You don't want to walk up to the ticket booth Saturday morning and pay because it's going to cost you double. Yes. Don't want to do that. Yeah, it's $20 the day of the game if you walk up. But if you buy them now, it's $10. And already a great number. It's going up this entire week. I think it'll continue to grow. But talking with players all this week, and even I was telling my parents about how many tickets have been sold. They were blown away. And, and this, this, this team is so excited to get in front of Husker Nation. It just... You don't find this type of uh, atmosphere for a spring game just anywhere. So uh, make sure you show up and, and a lot of recruits in town. It's important to bring that atmosphere so you show them, get, a lot of them, their first taste of Nebraska, why they want to come play here. Well, I remember we talked to Jeremiah a couple of days ago and he said that he, he came on a visit yeah. when he was being recruited and the spring game made a big impression on him. It does. And, and even some kids, they might not be able to make it in the fall if they're from far away. This might be their only chance at it. And a lot of kids probably compete or will commit on the spot if once they get a feel for it and yeah I mean you can watch we, we watched and Jeremiah talked about it on our podcast you looked at the Michigan game spring game and they're just it wasn't well attended um it's across the country it just is it's going to be filled in and packed and rocking and it keeps seeing people get those tickets and and keep growing and get in here because there's it's going to be fun to see this new look offense some of the new pieces and see how they put it all together in front of a crowd for the first time we'll, we'll have one of the top five crowds in the country is what we'll end up having for, for the spring game and i because i've been hearing grumbling from people like oh my gosh you only sold fifty thousand tickets Every, pretty much every school in the country would give their right arm if they yes. sold 50,000 tickets. A thousand percent, absolutely. So, it'll be fun. A one o'clock kick, 11 o'clock for our pregame coverage here on the Huskers Radio Network. Looking forward to that day. Uh, the players have did the, the last practice was yesterday before the game. So they'll meet and ha- have some meetings with the, as a team over the next day or so. But that's it until they put the pads on and go out there on Saturday. You know what's funny? I just visited with Trent Hickson for our first Cornhusker or for our spring game Cornhusker conversation. And the team doesn't even know what the format is yet. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So I think they're going to find out tomorrow. Or <laughs> But they're excited. And, and he was saying this is his first time to have an offense versus defense spring game. And so it's been a lot. A big battle throughout this entire string, but they're, he was excited about the, the potential of doing it offense, defense, but they don't know how it's going to score and, and how it's going to look that way, but I know they're, they're really excited to get out there and play in front of the Husker fans for the first time. Should be fun, but again, folks, if you're thinking about coming, order the tickets online. going to save you some money for that game, and there are seats still available. They are going to close off the upper deck on the east side. That won't be open, so 50000 in the lower bowl is going to look like a pretty full house for Husker football, and I know a lot of folks are excited. A lot of people who tailgate in the same area year after year after year become really good friends with the people that they tailgate with they may not have even known them before they started tailgating well this is one of the now eight times they can get together during the year is a spring game and they haven't seen them since thanksgiving weekend with iowa so it's been a while i can't wait i mean it's my first experience at a spring game here i've been told how awesome it is that it's like a normal game day it's like it's like a game day feel and I just, I never had that at Oklahoma. It wasn't a typical game day with all the fans and all of that kind of atmosphere. So it's so, I'm, I can't wait to experience it myself. And I know these these players just, especially the, it's, it's really fun talking to the guys that have never played in front of Husker fans before and how just giddy and excited they are to get out there. This is a big day in the sports world. You have opening day for Major League Baseball. I think there's only seven games in the big leagues today. The Royals played today in their opener. But it was also day one of the Masters. And just what spectacular pictures from down there. The size of the galleries that followed Tiger Woods on his return to golf. And I was thinking today, Jessica, there can't be more than two or three athletes in the world that command the attention that a Tiger Woods does. And he just captivates everybody. And what he has meant to the sport of golf, how many people he has gotten involved in the sport of golf, 
it's it's countless. He's the reason why the sport is as popular as it is today because of now I'm not saying everybody loves Tiger like they did when he was in his domination phase back earlier, but he's the guy that inspired the Jordan Spieths, the Justin Thomases, all these guys that are now up there competing for the, the tournament titles at week in and week out. He inspired this generation that has made golf cool and fun and, and competitive like it is. And, you know, he, he made me interested in golf and following his journey. And then when he made his comeback, how great that was. And uh, hopefully he can keep it rolling. But yeah, I was, joking earlier I, I would like to watch some of the masters but it's the tiger channel not the golf channel it's the tiger channel that's all they're oh, talking is. about is yeah. and they were there were golfers out on the course and they were just showing him warming up right. the whole time and i'm like can we see some of the action going on on the course but it, it you know it's a big story i get it he he is he's the face of golf he's one of the goats and has really changed the face of golf. So I, I, I totally understand it, and especially when you thought maybe we'd never see him golf again. Right. He played well today, he broke par, shot one under par. He's not at the top of the leaderboard, but he's not that far off. So he's certainly going to be a factor this week in Augusta. How's your he, fantasy team doing? Uh, okay. Uh, one of my guys was in third. I don't know where he is. I haven't looked at the leaderboard here in a little bit, but he was in third for a while. So I'm, I'm hanging in there. It's just day one. A long way to go in this thing. <laughs> But it was really cool, the scenes down there today, to watch him. And you're right, the Golf Channel, which really doesn't have rights to this. It's all ESPN and CBS for the weekend. But, yeah, they were all Tiger almost 24-7 most of the week. But well, even when we flipped over to ESPN, it was... The recap of Tiger's round. It was all almost, Tiger, almost yeah. Shot so that's, shot. Why, that's what's great about ESPN Plus is they have all of the different... You can watch 4, 5, and 6. Yep. Um, Amen the, Corner. A, yep. And then the featured groups. There's four different options, and so I had that on today so that I could watch. I enjoy watching Tiger, but I also want to watch what else is going on so so I could see other things besides just the Tiger Woods show. So it's underway. They're, they're just about to wrap up day one at the Masters. They had a lot of rain down in that part of the country over the last week or so, so the course was really wet, but you couldn't tell that they do such a great job with the grounds, and uh, they move the, the... They don't call them spectators. They call them patrons. Yeah. That's one of those things. It's Apparently, I was heard there. that you are not you can't call it a crowd or nope you have to call them they have their own kind of set of language you can't take your cell phone on the course yeah. you have to leave that behind they don't want cell phones ringing while guys are taking their backswing so very much heaped in uh, prestige is what the masters they run that thing like no other golf tournament during the year hey our sports only hotline is brought to you by the woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brands 16 convenient locations simplified car buying to save you time shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com chancellor ronnie green coming up here in just a couple of minutes we'll get his thoughts about some things that have been happening around the university here a couple of days before the spring game we're going to break it up tonight i'm headed off to a, a sponsor event with some members of the 7071 Husker football team. Uh, we're going to have some fun reminiscing about that. So I'm going to be taking off here in just a little bit. You're going to be back to hour two. And you've got some fun stuff lined up in hour two. Yeah. So Maddie Fowler Burkhart going to be in. We're going to talk some Husker softball. They got another big weekend. They've won 10 in a row going into another opportunity to string some wins together. So we're going to break that down. And then we're going to have a spring game segment coming up with Trent Hickson. And, and I got Jeremiah Searles to join us again. So good. we'll be back again uh, to break down the spring game as okay. well. Very good. It's, you know, I hope that softball, those softball games get to be played. The weather is, if it's bad here, you know, further north, it's worse. So I don't know. They, they may have to really tap dance to get some games in. Hopefully they can get them in because they got, they got a lot of momentum right now. You they don't sure want this do. team to stop playing ball right now. They sure do. And Michigan State's not one of the better teams in the league. So this could be a chance to keep fattening up that record for the Huskers, who've just been phenomenal. Ten straight wins. They're 31 in the RPI, which the, the, ball, the ball bat sports still really use the RPI, much mm -hmm. more so than the, the college basketball has gone to the net now, which is kind of a form of the RPI. But the RPI still means a lot in the ball bat sports, and Nebraska's in really good shape. Yeah, and they offensively lead the Big Ten in just about every offensive statistic. Same thing um, right up there nationally with some of the best offensive teams in the country. But then their pitching has really stepped up this year. It has. And so that's, I, I can't wait to get Maddie's perspective on all of it. She's been there calling some of the games with Nate and so uh, can can really break down 
what this team needs to do moving forward and, and what's been working for them currently to, to put these 10 wins all in a row together. Olivia Farrell's really had a good season, and I think she's probably been better than they could have imagined, really. Yeah, and she was on last week. Love her personality and the way she battled last weekend. It wasn't one of those games where the Huskers were putting a bunch of runs on the board, so she had to really get the work done in the circle and had some runners on but battled and found a way to, to keep those, those hitters at bay. So, yeah, Olivia Farrell, Courtney Wallace, both that one-two punch has, has been phenomenal. And, yeah, when, you're, but when your bats are hitting or swinging it the way that they are, it, it always helps, too. All right, that's what we have here on the program tonight. Again, if you want to be a part of it, 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. We'll uh, continue to watch the uh, wrap-up of the Masters as they're finishing up round one. We'll keep checking those Major League Baseball scores as they roll in today. Day one of the season, a lot of people didn't think they'd be playing baseball right now. They didn't thought that lockout might last longer. I saw one national writer say today, he goes, I didn't think I'd be walking into a Major League Baseball park until June. He thought that the labor negotiations were that far off. Here they are, though, April the 7th, playing ball. So good for them. And, yeah, and like you said, busy sports weekend for it everybody. It is so. really busy sports weekend. All right, need to step aside. When we come back, the Chancer will be joining us. We're broadcasting here in our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. The Chancellor's up next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. In a world where fun and cash prizes collide. One game explodes to the forefront. Cash Blast from the Nebraska Lottery. Non-stop excitement, a winning thrill ride, and starring you. Until April 12th, play 2x2 weekly for a chance to win $5,000 or $500. And if your ticket was a seven-day draw, your prize is double. Don't miss it. Cash Blast, playing at a lottery retailer near you. 2x2 two two top prize odds, 1 in 105,000. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Senex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Senex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next-level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Did you ever buy something and get more, more than you expected? Emeritus offers insurance, employee benefits, and financial services, but we deliver so much more. The comfort of a human voice when you need it, the confidence of flashing a beautiful smile, the relief that your family can keep living the life they love, the serenity 
of knowing you've planned well and can enjoy life. That's what we really deliver. We call it fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services, and much more. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Manzer Equipment in Osmond, Nebraska, your full-time Massey Ferguson dealer, proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers since 1975. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com slash sports. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? They're even longer term than the silent treatment your mom gave you after she found out you backed over her peony bushes with the riding lawnmower. Even though it could have happened to anyone. Oof, talk about long-term. Hi, it's Boyd Minry from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-463-4637 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. Welcome back, Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network. A real treat for us tonight as we're joined by the Chancellor of the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, Ronnie Green. Always great to have him in studio with us here. we got a big week, spring game week. Got going to have a lot of people visiting us this weekend to watch Husker football wrap up spring practice. What's your, what's your take on some of the, the end of the winter sports season and now we're into these spring sports? Uh, it's kind of hard to believe it's the first week of April, you know, yeah. and, uh, and that we're coming up here in a couple of days on the spring game, the red-white game, and an opportunity to see our football team and the progress there and what's happening around some of the changes um, there. But, you know, we've had we've had kind of a, a crazy winter season in a lot of ways, right? Uh, the excitement of our wrestling team finishing up like they did and the NCAAs finishing fifth this year with five, you know, All-Americans uh, coming out of that competition was really happy for Ridge and Peyton and Mikey and and Eric and Christian, who who in their weight classes made All-American status, and Ridge kind of took us for a run to the championship round. So congratulations to them on their success. For Amy and the women's basketball team and making it into the NCAA, and uh, I enjoyed going to Louisville, and not the result we'd wanted. You know, then that first round, we'd hoped to have gone further, but great season for our women in, in basketball and coming out of that season and looking forward to the year ahead. Uh, men's basketball got interesting at the end, right? So we had, you know, three pretty interesting games in the in the end of the com- of the conference season, and particularly that Wisconsin game was a lot of fun to to watch. So uh, looking forward to them coming back next year. Softball, I mean, women's great softball start. off to a great start this year. Uh, and seeing the success that they're having, you know, most recently in Michigan, you know, thinking about Michigan, you know, last week. Uh, so, so just a lot of excitement about the softball team, baseball now well into their year, and and the conference season. We've got golf and tennis, you know, finishing up their seasons. Gymnastics finishing their season. Our men's gymnastics team still at play, and and track and field, of course. Uh, you know, so a huge amount of opportunity in Husker athletics. Our our athletes continue to work hard to compete at the highest levels and just uh, an exciting time to be able to get out and see a lot of Husker sports. When we think of Memorial Stadium this time of year, we think of the spring game, but you've started to kind of start a new tradition in Nebraska because you're going to bring commencement back to the stadium for the second May in a row. Yeah, so Greg, last year, you know, uh, uh, granted we were still kind of operating in the COVID world, right? We had the opportunity to bring commencement. It was the first live commencement that we had had 
since the pandemic had started a year earlier and to bring that to Memorial Stadium for the first time in our history. We had our undergraduate commencement exercises in Memorial last year. It was a record graduating class uh, at the same time for us. Uh, we had to do it distanced. You know, we had to spread people out. We were still in that mode of social distancing and, and taking care of everybody in that way and had two ceremonies as a result of that in order to, to be able to accommodate it. It was great to do that. T.O. was our our uh, commencement speaker that was kind of iconic to have Tom Osborne speaking to our graduates for the first time in our history in Memorial Stadium and I'll remember that for a long long time to come well this year we are now instituting that as our regular practice so the university moving forward is planning to have all of its undergraduate spring commencements in May in Memorial Stadium as a practice uh, we're we're looking forward to that. You know, we're we're doing a little turf replacement in Memorial Stadium yeah. now. Some of the fans may know about that. So uh, I, I'm uh, I'm breathing every day to make sure that gets done. You know, the the Monday before that commencement in middle of May. Uh, so we'll graduate our undergraduates there on uh, that Saturday, the second Saturday in May, uh, as one ceremony. All of our undergraduates there together. Uh, we'll have our graduate commencement in PBA, as it always is the day before, and we'll have our law commencement that afternoon as well over on campus in the lead center. Looking forward to, we won't know till the 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 uh, uh, the last song, I guess you know, of the the day as to what the the final number is. But our initial numbers are looking like we may have another record graduating class again for the second year in a row and the three of the last four years in a row. So uh, exciting to see that and that culmination coming for all of our graduates here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Oh, what an amazing day it will be, and, and congrats on a, starting a, a brand new tradition here in Nebraska. We're wrapping up spring football here in a couple of days, and then we're all looking forward to going to Ireland for that game on August 27th. But it's not the first time that Nebraska's played outside the United States, and it's only not the only example of Huskers doing work around the world. Can you give us some recent examples of that? Yeah, well, I'm really looking forward to being in Dublin in August. Uh, you know, this is now our third year in planning that. Yeah. If we all remember back to prior to the pandemic and the plan that we were going to play you know, there last year, we were all geared up for that. That, of course, didn't happen in the pandemic. So to be able to be over there with Northwestern this fall is our opening game for the season. Everyone's anticipating that. We're really looking forward to that opportunity. Um, Jane and I are going to be leading a tour of alumni the week before that in the UK as well. So we're all we're all just really looking forward to a great time there. Uh, we we have so much activity of the university occurring around the world every day. Uh, research partnerships that we have, students that work across you know borders and around the world, and their their experiences. We actually been able to get back into the study abroad arena just this semester has been our first kind of step back into students being abroad and being able to participate a number of things during spring break happened that way for our students in various parts of the world um, a couple examples of big research projects that we have internationally uh, steve thomas and our school of natural resources uh, he's one of our professors studying river and stream ecology and the fish and wildlife arena is part of a big international interdisciplinary research team that has spent four years working to understand how strategic planning can impact the hydropower development in the entire Amazon Basin region in South America. A big example of a big, big project that affects over 2.5 million square miles in, uh, wow. in that part of the world. 25 academic and non-academic institutions from across the world are involved in that work with Steve. Uh, we also have tremendous work that occurs on an ongoing basis with our Global Yield Gap Atlas work. That's efforts from uh, the Department of Agronomy and Horticulture in our Institute of Ag and Natural Resources. Patricio Grissini is the leader of that effort on our faculty there that looks at major uh, crops, so then corn, um, you know, wheat, rice around the world in the production environments in the, the world, what their production capacity is 
relative to what is being achieved in that per so uh, identifying gaps in yield that exist and why that's the case. Uh, so now 70 countries around the world that Patricio is working in with partners all over the world in, uh, in terms of crop and water productivity uh, that is so important as well. So just so much happening wow. internationally. I know we're gonna be in Dublin and we're gonna be, be you know, celebrating with our football team there um, on the, the Emerald Isle, so to speak, but, uh, but we have so much going on around the world from this land grant university. Well, that is amazing. And this is Chancellor Ronnie Green here on Sports Signing on the Huskers Radio Network. We've talked about unique experiences like commencement at Memorial Stadium, international collaborations. But I know the university is really big on experiential learning. What, what are some examples of how students are learning in hands-on ways? Yeah, so, so Greg, we, we have a point of pride here at the university that we have always had experiential learning as an important part of what we do. Uh, at the University of Nebraska. We actually now are in the process within our current strategic plan for UNL of having every student at the university that will graduate with an experiential portfolio in their, in their graduation. So paid internship work, um, international experience, undergraduate research experience, and we are well into that happening. Or with the classes that we're, are graduating across the board. Our goal is to have every student do that. By 2025, we're already a uh, vast majority of our students are in that category. So it's an important value to us and the important value of that, of what that brings to our students and their educational experience. But we have so much of that happening around the campus. Uh, we we uh, go, have for a couple of examples, you know, our architecture students, as a regular part of their program are involved in direct design work with communities and communities and, and laboratories across the state as a normal part of their process. Just one example of experiential work. Um, we have experiential work of our students in the Rake School who are currently working in their senior design projects with a, a collectively with the School of Computing and the Nebraska Water Center that's part of our Dougherty Water for Food Global Institute. They're in the process of revamping Nebraska's, what's known as Nebraska's VEDOS zone programs, current data systems. That helps to analyze what the layer is of water between the crop zone and uh, the crop root zone and the groundwater table. Uh, it's so important to us in Nebraska because of the importance of underground water and irrigation, as we know. Uh, they're getting direct experiential experience in this you know, multi-year process of updating that effort. Uh, our forensic science students over on East Campus, you know, we have uh, experiential learning for them in a, a field lab on our campus that is understanding forensic science and the application of forensic science on the ground where they, they participate in that field lab on an ongoing basis. I could go on and on and on with uh, you know, examples of this kind of hands-on learning that our students are doing across the campus uh, every day. It's amazing. That is fantastic. Well, thank you so much. You've updated us on a lot of different things here. I know during the, the fall and football season, you have a big tailgate party. Do you do much of a tailgate thing before spring games or not? You know, we, we, we don't have that yeah. as a tradition as much, but this year we uh, actually are oh, okay. doing a pregame tailgate. Uh, Ted Carter, our, our system president, uh, is hosting kind of a pregame uh, social event tailgate at the WIC Center on Great. Saturday for a, for a group of folks. We're looking forward to that kind of as a new tradition and, and looking forward to, you know, to him hosting that with us. Here well, you and enjoy I. that. I know you're going to join us again on pregame on Saturday. Great to see you. Thank you, you so much. Yo, go Big Red. Ronnie Green with us here on Sports Sunday. We've got more of the show coming up next. Experience the difference at Woodhouse Buick GMC. You never know what lies ahead, so trust the powerful and innovative features of the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Its powerful engines and bold presence give you superior capability to handle what life throws your way. Advanced technology and safety features come standard to help you keep in command while on the road. Purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. A tradition of winning doesn't happen overnight. Like any team, you gotta be tough, play smart, and work hard. No one understands this more than Ford Motor Company. They built the best team in the game with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 45 years straight. 
the iconic Ford Bronco and the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Shop online at buyfordnow.com or visit your local Ford dealer to buy or custom build the perfect truck or SUV for you. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Vickers 1-2, Squire swings and lifts a fly ball to center and deep. Fawcett going back, but it's gone! A home run for Abby Squire, her sixth of the year. Make it 6-4, to four, Huskers. Nebraska softball looks to stay undefeated in the Big Ten when the Huskers travel to Michigan State to open a conference series tomorrow. Join Matt Cookney for all the action, beginning with pregame at 4.50, first pitch at 5 on the Huskers radio network, Huskers.com, and the official Nebraska Athletics app. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Vickers 1-2, Squire swings and lifts a fly ball to center and deep. Fawcett going back, but it's gone! A home run for Abby Squire, her sixth of the year. Make it 6-4, to four, Huskers. Nebraska softball looks to stay undefeated in the Big Ten when the Huskers travel to Michigan State to open a conference series tomorrow. Join Matt Cookney for all the action, beginning with pregame at 4.50. First pitch at 5 on the Huskers radio network, Huskers.com, and the official Nebraska Athletics app. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Show your style through every mile and get your Chevy your way. Discover the 2022 Silverado. From off-road adventures to navigating the city, this truck has the strength to take on what's next. A robust refresh gives the Silverado bold new looks and improved functionality. Plus, multiple trim levels ensure there is a Silverado that's strong enough to ride with you. Find new roads and explore all our inventory arriving daily at WoodhouseGM.com and at our dealership in Missouri Valley, Iowa. Nothing goes better with Husker sports than Fairbury. Fairbury, premium quality hot dogs deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. The highest quality beef, pork, and natural spices give you the best tasting hot dog and your hometown favorite big red hot dog. Look for Fairbury hot dogs all year long at your local grocery store. Fairbury, the official hot dog of the Huskers and Nebraska fans everywhere. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. 
From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. We are back in our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Always great to hear from the Chancellor. He'll be also joining me for pregame coverage of uh, on our spring game on Saturday. I was just reading some stuff, Jessica. Husker football is expecting over 80 visitors wow. for the weekend. That's a lot of young guys coming to look at the program. Absolutely. It's a huge weekend, and... Uh, we talked a little bit about it in the first segment, but just can be a huge sell because if these kids are going to other spring games, it's it's going to be hard to match what they experience here on Saturday. Folks, you might start hearing about a documentary called The Place, and it's going to be about Husker athletics, kind of the tradition, some of the people that are involved in it. Episode one has now dropped. It's on YouTube. You can go find it. It was produced by Dalton Conrad. He's the lead producer on this thing. It's been in the works for a while. And episode one, it's called The Pilot, uh, deals with Trev. And Trev Albert's now leading this athletic department. We thought we would play just a little snippet of what is in this. It would be something for you tonight, late at night, or if you're sitting around at work tomorrow and you're bored, you want to pull it up and watch it on YouTube. Uh, it's going to be a series uh, dropped over the next month or so. And this, we're going to play a little clip from Mickey Anderson, who's the president and CEO at Baxter Auto Group, talking about Husker athletics, leadership, and how he views Trev Alberts and all of that. The tougher the circumstances get, the tougher the can get conditions get, it's always going to favor the best competitor. It's always going to favor the person who's willing to work the hardest, who's going to surround themselves with the best people, who has proven themselves to be able to make great decisions and figure it out. The harder it gets, the more I like our odds, because that really favors leadership. And Trev is a great leader. I am 100% confident that this is the right person to lead Husker Athletics moving forward, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you Trev Alberts. Nebraska will win the national championship! The enthusiasm here is as good as any place, but the integrity here of the fans is the best in America. A little snippet of that. That's certainly worth Husker fans tuning into that and checking that series out. Yeah, I haven't been able to watch the whole thing yet, but I watched a portion of it. John Cook's in it, and he talked about how right Trev Alberts was for the job and that he'd run through a wall for him. And so it's fascinating. It's going to be a great series. Dalton's a stud. He's absolutely incredible. So it's there's going to be absolute great content coming out from that. So be watching for episode one is now available on YouTube. Go pull it up. And it will be certainly something all Husker fans are going to watch. It's called The Place. So look for that if you need to go do a search to find that. Episode 1 came out just over an hour ago, so it's pretty fresh out there for you Husker fans to go. And this one really deals a lot with Trev and his leadership of running the Husker Athletic Department. Hey, buckle up, put the phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Tough one last night in Omaha. Boy, the Huskers, you thought we're hoping we're going to build off that sweep over Ohio State over the weekend. They just seemed a little sleepy throughout the game, Jessica. Got it going in the 8th and ninth. The three-run home run pulled them within a run, but a disappointing loss. They're going to have to kind of wash that and get ready to go against Rutgers tomorrow. Yeah, I was listening. When they hit the bomb, when Gomez hit the bomb, I, was, I thought for sure they were coming back to win that thing and just couldn't, couldn't get the runs across there in the ninth. But, yeah, hopefully they can uh, – Get that momentum back that they found last weekend and carry it over. And it, it's kind of about the league right now for this team. I mean, some of their goals are not going to be there. Their RPI is so low, it's going to be really hard for this team to work their way up to the NCAA tournament. But they still can be a factor in the conference. They're the defending champs. And you know the defending champs would like to go down, at least fighting going down. And this weekend would be huge for that. Sure would be. Uh, in terms of standing and all of that. And so, 
Yeah, you just keep chipping away at the Big Ten Conference, and you know, you never know. There's still a lot of lot of ball to be played. You can still absolutely have a chance at winning a Big Big Ten title. Should have big crowds all weekend. They've got some promotions going on, including the Bark at the Park for baseball is Sunday out at Haymarket Park. So. Uh, with the spring game in town, I'm sure a lot of folks will be in town. You want to go see them tomorrow night. going to be a little breezy and chilly tomorrow, but much better on Saturday and Sunday. And Rutgers playing really good baseball. Rutgers is one of the more veteran teams in the league. Uh, and as we know, veteran teams usually are a little bit more tougher to deal with. So that's uh, this weekend for Rutgers. 6.30 tomorrow night, 3.15 after the spring game on Saturday and then noon on Sunday. It will be a little messy over there, folks. Uh, for parking on Saturday because they use a lot of that for football parking over at Haymarket Park. So there's some information about that at Huskers.com. I wanted to ask you, is, uh, is Omaha pretty big? Not becoming bad. a rival now? Mm. or I mean, because it was a little chippy after from the their, game. From their standpoint, yes. Okay. I don't know from Nebraska's yet that that's the case, but they're, they're a quality team. They're winning some games. Mm-hmm. They beat UCLA earlier in the season. They... Uh, they've beaten the Huskers. They they won a series from Rutgers a few weeks ago. Well, and it, it was as you and Ben were talking about. There's a lot of these guys that know each other. They do. There's a lot of Nebraska kids on both teams. A lot of Omaha kids that played summer ball against each other, probably played Little League ball against mm-hmm. each other, travel baseball, all of that. And so I think that adds to it a little bit. And, hey, a lot of those kids in Omaha probably wish they were playing for the end. Uh, yeah, you, I mean, you I, think. I don't mean yeah. to be rude, but that's kind of the truth. So, question here then. Okay, so when you talk in terms of postseason and what the Huskers need to do, I mean, is it pretty much win the Big Ten Maybe. at this point? Yeah, because the RPI is pretty low. So, mm-hmm. I just don't know that they can make that climb from here to the end. Well, Bolt's not telling them that, but, yeah. uh, you know, you got to get, you just go take it. That's why I said a week or so ago. Try to win a series, mm-hmm. try to win your weekend series, and then see where you are in May. And with the tournament in Omaha, Kind of a little bit of a home field advantage for Nebraska in the Big Ten tournament. I'm, I'm excited to get to see that one, too. That'll be fun. They've, and both both get in, right? The automatic Is it an automatic for both the tournament and the... Just the tournament. Oh, just the tournament. Wow. So the league's regular season winner does not get an automatic. A little bit like basketball. you got to mm-hmm. win that tournament to get okay. that automatic bid. Our Sports Highly Hotline, it's open and available for you. 402-413-2400. It's our Sports Highly Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family Shop Woodhouse, first 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. Tim in Minnesota wanted to know on our Ronnie Green interview, would they go back to PBA of Weather Foils graduation for Memorial Stadium? I would guess that would probably be the backup would be PBA. But, Tim, let's think positive. Let's think, let's think by May. It's going to be good weather for graduation at it, uh, Memorial Stadium. I need to fi- work our final break, and we're back to wrap up the show next. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. 
Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. The bolder, the better. The 2022 Hyundai Sonata is reimagined with tech and safety features you want. With inspiring innovation and a bold new exterior, this is a sedan designed to be seen. Confidence comes standard when you shop Hyundai. You'll benefit from Hyundai Owner Assurance with America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Visit Woodhouse Hyundai off 144th and Giles Road or online at woodhousehyundai.com during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. This is our last show for the week. We have baseball tomorrow night, Huskers against Rutgers, 635 at Haymarket Park, 6 o'clock for pregame coverage. So this is our last chance to kind of get us ready for spring football and the pregame show at 11. Are I'm, you excited? You're ready. I'm so excited and excited to be on the sidelines. And I know there's going to be a lot of former players, a lot of fun things to do down there. And we'll get to interview a lot of people and bring it on the on the show as well. So, yeah, it should be fun. Well, give me a couple things you're excited to see from the team. Well, I, I think position-wise, for me, it's got to be the defensive backs and the wide receivers. I mean, we talked about that. Yeah. But running backs absolutely uh, is up there too, especially being that we might not see all of them try to air it out a bunch. But – probably going to hand the ball off quite a bit and there's a lot of talent in that running back room that's competing for for touches everybody wants to see the quarterbacks well i know Man, that's we why i didn't casey, go with that I mean, yeah and i think this is a big day for casey too because he knows this is the first time for him to kind of put on a show for the for the husker fans yeah i think he's super excited and and you think about his journey and career it's just been so with being at texas he had new coaching changes and all of that he was the backup and so for him to kind of go into this as a front runner and be the guy in a spring game is kind of the first for him so i can imagine he's he's uh, pretty stoked to get out there and, and let me put the caveat out there too let's don't forget logan smothers you and i've said this for months yep. don't forget about logan smothers he started a game here in nebraska yeah he's absolutely and trent hickson who we interviewed for the corn Oscar conversation talks about that too i mean this is not a done deal by any means we are not making it a done deal i know casey thompson has taken a lot of the number one reps throughout spring but it is still competition and it is still open and as Jeremiah talks a lot about, I mean, there's a lot of, you can gain a lot of ground in those competitions on Saturday for some of these guys. I was working on some of my charts today. There's so many guys not playing. Yeah. That are going to play, I think, in the fall. Those offensive linemen, Luke Reimers is not, Casey Rogers is not out there playing for this team. So this team will look different in August than it's going to look Saturday. Which is a big reason why we got to go with the offense-defense setup, right? Because they're... Seven. We have seven defensive linemen on scholarship that are available to play. Yeah, that's so is that's basically impossible to split into two. So yeah. Uh, yeah, and but it's also good. I mean, some of those guys that have been around and have proven themselves, and we know what they're going to be able to do, what they're capable of. You don't have to rush them back, and you don't have to make cause for a bigger, worse, or worse in the injury. You can really take your time and get them back healthy, one hundred percent. All right, I'm out of here to go hang with the seventy seventy one Huskers. I'm looking forward to that. Have a little that should be fun. On. Look, I just saw Johnny a little bit ago. He's here. He's fired up. He's feeling better. Tell him I said hi. He's if he over. remembers me from I will. Norman. He's over his COVID. That okay, was scary good. for him back around the end of the football season, but he's looking good and feeling good. So looking forward to that. What do you have coming up next hour? So Maddie Burkhardt is in studio. We're yeah. going to talk a little Husker softball. How about those uh, Husker softball bats, the way they've been playing? So we're going to preview the weekend and then talk about what's been working up until this point. And we got Jeremiah, Trent, Trent Hickson, and then we're going to talk a little Big celebration, a special store opening up this weekend down, downtown. Yep. Good. Look forward to hearing all that coming up. Hey, our Sports Sunday Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance. Buy online at woodhouse.com. That'll do it for me. Stick around. Jessica's got another hour. Fun stuff coming your way. Don't go away.
hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 F-150 is confidently capable and relentlessly tough. Equipped with features that allow you to work smarter and harder so you can get the job done faster. With 12 models to choose from, the F-150 was built to help you make the most of your work week or weekend. Shop, finance, and buy your way online at WoodhouseFord.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime.
And welcome into the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. We have another jam-packed show for you in Hour 2 tonight as we get set for a jam-packed weekend of Husker sports. Coming up in a few minutes, Matty Fowler Burkhart is here to discuss the surging Huskers softball in the season that they're having. About 20 minutes, Beth Parks will stop by to talk about the new Alumni Hall store opening for Huskers fans in Lincoln. And then we'll wrap up our last show of the week, coming up with some spring football thoughts from alumni offensive lineman Jeremiah Searles and current offensive lineman Trent Hickson. In other Husker sports news, yesterday Nebraska track and field saw three of their athletes honored by the Big Ten coming off of their Pepsi Florida Relays meet last week. Darius Luff took home track athlete of the week. This after winning his first outdoor race of the season, a 110 meters hurdles event in which he ran a time of 13.70. Mason Connor won the field athlete of the week after placing third in the high jump with a clearance of 7-1. And Jenna Rogers earned women's field athlete of the week, placing fourth with an outdoor personal best high jump of six and a half, the seventh best mark in school history. Huskers track and field is back at it as we speak, competing at the John McDonald Invite in Fayetteville, Arkansas. In college hockey tonight, two Big Ten teams will attempt to punch their ticket to the national championship. Michigan is currently in a battle with Denver. They're nearing the end of the first overtime period where it's tied at two. Later tonight, Minnesota will take on an in-state rival in Minnesota State Mankato with face-off there set up for 7.30 p.m. Central, though that could be pushed back due to the length of the current game going on. A win for both Michigan and Minnesota could set up another All-Big Ten national championship following Nebraska and Wisconsin's national championship in volleyball this past fall. Over to pro sports in the NFL, Brian Flores' lawsuit against the NFL for racial discrimination has gained two more plaintiffs and three more defendants. Steve Wilkes, who's currently an assistant coach with the Carolina Panthers, is suing the Arizona Cardinals after he was fired from his head coaching role there in 2018. Longtime NFL assistant Ray Horton is suing the Titans after claiming his head coaching interview with them in 2016 was illegitimate. That has some legs to it as the coach who beat him out for the job, Mike Malarkey, who since was fired, supported this claim in a podcast in 2020 when he claimed on that podcast that the Titans ownership told him the job was his pending two uh, NFL Rooney Rule in interviews. So they already gave him the job prior to finishing the interview process is the claim. In opening day in Major League Baseball, we've got some finals for you. Cubs won a close one over the Brewers, 5-4. to four. The Guardians and Royals was another interesting one. Got dicey in the ninth, but the Royals were able to hold off, and they got the victory there, 3-1. to one. Pirates could not cut it today. Cardinals beat them big. That was 9 to nothing. Mets and Nationals are in a delay. Reds and Braves are just about set to get underway. Astros and Angels will play at 838. And Padres and Diamondbacks will get started at 840. Quick check on the Masters scoreboard, which got started today. South Korean Sung J Im leads at 5 under and a little over a year and a half after suffering a serious car accident. Tiger Woods is currently holding on to 10th place, one stroke under par. That's the ticker. My name is Tim Mulhelt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. The 0-1 pitch to Max. Anderson hammers one to center. That's hit pretty well. Kern backing up. He's to the track. He's to the wall. And that ball is gone. Anderson gets a grand slam to dead center. Vickers 1-2. Squire swings and lifts a fly ball to center and deep. Fawcett going back, but it's gone. A home run for Abby Squire. Her sixth of the year. 3-2 pitch on the way from Finney. Drill to left field. Going back is Trey Lipsy. He's looking up and it is gone. Luke Sartori drives it out of here, a grand slam. The wine and Hitchcock deals. And Kenny swings and lifts it. Deep left field, and it is gone off the scoreboard and left for a three-run home run. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Everett swings and hammers one to deep left center field. That is trouble, and that is gone. Griffin Everett gets a hold of one to left center, and the Huskers get the lead right back on the two-run shot. 10-4 Huskers in the sixth. The pitch, Squire swings and blasts it. Deep left center field and gone. A two-run home run for Squire. That'll end the game. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cooty on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome back for hour number two here on Sports Nightly, our final show of the week as we have baseball action coming at you tomorrow night. 
I'm Jessica Cootie and joined in studio for or to talk a little Husker softball right now is Maddie Fowler Burkhart. So if you have any questions, you want to ask her, call in, text in 402-413-2400 on the Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. Brought to you by Wood Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplify car buying to save you time. Shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com. Well, Maddie, thanks for coming in. How about this? these Husker softball ladies? They yeah. are killing it. I know I'm, I'm always game to talk softball, you know that. So, um, but yeah, they've been um, a real joy to watch this this season, and really kind of a surprise with how strong they've come on. We we knew they'd be good. Um, they finished 22 and 22 last season, but they've already got 25 wins on the season, so it already passed last season's mark. And um, not a lot of new names to this team, which has been what's most surprising to me is that it's really just been some experience um, in the sophomore class and then some leadership from the seniors that has really just had this team take off. Before we dive into all of that, um, how are you liking calling on the radio on our Huskers Radio Network with Nate? I know. I'm so happy uh, <laughs> Nate is letting me share the mic for the home games. He's got <laughs> you covered on the road. Um, it's a big task, but it, it's so fun. He's Nate is, he's so passionate about this Husker softball program. He's been covering this team for over 13 years, so he covered it when I played, and um, it's, it's been real, really fun to sit in the booth with him, and um, we know each other pretty well, so that, it's been fun, and I, I'm just really grateful we have some really consistent voices that cover women's sports here. You know, we got uh, Coatney and, um, and Grish, and you got John Baylor for volleyball and then Nate for softball. So it's something um, I don't take for granted that you've got some really good voices um, lifting up our, our women's sports. But are you enjoying the broadcasting? Because it's kind of a new role for you. Your sister does yeah. it a lot on for ESPN mm -hmm. and Pac-12. So are you liking the broadcasting? I'm loving it. Thing? Yeah, it's super fun. Nate makes it easy. Um, when the team's being successful, it makes it really easy too. Absolutely. So um, maybe I'm, I'm the lucky one in the, in the booth there. Uh, it's, it's been super fun and it's it's been interesting to me how it came a lot more naturally than I thought. Just you're like, hey, you know, when you when you do play the game, yeah. you know, for 18 years of your life, it turns out, you know, you can talk about the game and as things unfold. So it's, it's just been fun. Um, Nate totally drives the ship and I can just add a little analysis or share some insight of um, my time playing for the coaches and just kind of that experience. But it's, it's been a blast. Well, the Huskers currently lead the Big Ten, 5-0 and in a Big Ten play and headed to Michigan State with a 10-game winning streak. How about that? What's gone into that? What have you seen that has allowed them to really kind of put some things together here over the last 10 games? Yeah, um, the offense is mm -hmm. tremendous. I mean, they're averaging six and a half runs a game. Um, and then the pitching has been consistent enough in the circle um, to, to get it done. So the, the home runs, I mean, they just they have so much power. And I don't think we were expecting that from this team with, you know, 55 home runs on the season already. And it's still a young season. Um, so that's been really fun to watch. But they they battle, too. They they've had a lot of comebacks. They've they've won a lot of different ways, which is also really cool. I mean, last weekend against Rutgers, they gave up. Four runs in the first inning, came back. The next day it was a pitcher's duel, one, two to one. And then the game three, it was a run roll. So they find different ways to win, and they can really lean on their offense to really get them out of tight spots if they need to. So what is it like for a, a team that has – because, you know, I feel like for some teams they might have one or two power hitters. Mm -hmm. But for Nebraska, they seem to have several. There's a lot of different players that have hit bombs or have hit – for power, so what does that do when you can put together a lineup like that? Yeah, it's just, I think it, it allows the hitters to really settle into themselves mm -hmm. and not, you don't have as much pressure because you know there's somebody behind you um, who can pick you up. And there was a lot of production last weekend that started with seven, eight, nine, where they were the table setters and they got things going and there was two out rallies. And um, Billy Andrews is of course the big story. You know, she's got 17 home runs on the season that's second in the nation right now, but she didn't get pitched to last weekend. She walked 10 times in at 11 at bats, um, but it didn't matter because there was so many people behind her um, that could come through as well for this offense. So I think just, it's a streaky game. That's how softball is, is you know, there's gonna be times when you're hitting well, and there's gonna be times when you're just not finding any space out there. But when you have people one through nine who can produce, it's just, you can get through any of those streaks.
Visiting with Maddie Burkhardt about this Husker softball team. You know, I was at Oklahoma during Lauren Chamberlain's run to get to the NCAA record. I was there with Jocelyn Allo, who was chasing the record as well. And I mean, that was something that became such a frustration that teams just would not pitch to those hitters. And so now with Billy, how do you, I mean, she's just a sophomore and yep. the first time kind of going through this. What do you think? Coach Ravel, this coaching staff is kind of preaching to her to not get frustrated when teams yeah. won't throw you a pitch that you can hit. And I, I think she will get pitched to throughout the season. Rutgers, it, it's kind of been their strategy is that they just don't pitch to your best hitter. Okay. Last year, Tristan Edwards, they didn't pitch to her once. They, they actually hit her a lot of times, <laughs> which was really frustrating because it um, seemed a little intentional. Um, but, <laughs> so that, I don't think it's, it's going to last for Billy. She's the leadoff hitter, so they, she has some protection, and she runs really well, so she's a steal threat. So if you are going to walk her, you're basically giving up a double to start the game. Um, and not a lot of teams are going to want to do that, and especially when you've got protection behind her that's hitting the ball really well. You've got Cami Barra, um, a fifth-year senior, in the two hole and then Sydney Gray um, a fellow sophomore in the cl same class as Billy who's um, has a lot of power as well so I think I think she will um, get more pitches it was just kind of an anomaly weekend where okay, good. Rutgers walked her with the bases loaded okay in a one run ball game <laughs> and I that just blew my mind I'm like it's a one run ball game and you just opted to walk in a run um, and so that's that was kind of their strategy, but I don't think that will hold for every single team. Good. Hopefully that's the, not the trend. How about yep. Sydney Gray and her coming off the ACL mm -hmm. and, and how she's been able to come right back and seems like pick up right where she left off. Yeah, super impressive. I mean, there's she didn't play this fall, um, so sat out the fall ball season um, to keep recovering and to get you know back into her swing. And then she really has picked up where she left off. And I, I can tell you from personal experience um, yeah. how hard that is, not just the physical side of trusting your body and your lower half as you're hitting, but the mental side. Mm -hmm. And she's playing third base. And her injury happened when she was playing third base. And um, she hasn't been tentative at all. She's in the three hole. And um, that's just that's really exciting to see when a kid can um, fight through that adversity and come back and can kind of pick up. It's, it's not easy to do. I did want to go back to Billy. Did you expect, I mean, would this, was this something that maybe you expected she could potentially do, have this kind of production mm -hmm. and really break out like this? I mean, I know she had big numbers a year ago, but what she's doing as a sophomore, sometimes it's hard to make that jump between freshman and sophomore year. It is. We, we, we call it the sophomore slump a lot of times <laughs> because the scouting report on you gets out and everyone has tape on you now so you have to know um, they know how to get you out they know what pitches you like to chase and it has not mattered I think she hit eight home runs last season and already has 17 so and what what really surprises me about her is her power to all fields I mean she has more oppo home runs than she does pole side wow. so she can hit anywhere um so there's not there's not really a weak spot in her swing if, she, if she's getting out a lot of times it's she's getting herself out if she chases a bad pitch but she just swings she's so aggressive um she's really strong and um there's also been multiple times this year where brooke and billy brooke's sister is one class above her have homeward in the same inning so um <laughs> i won't leave out brooke andrews either who um, had one of the most bizarre at bats I've seen last um, weekend where she came in, subbed in in a one on one count, came in as a pinch hitter, Brooke did, because um, Cami Barra took one kind of off the face on a foul ball and hit a home run uh, coming in cold off the bench. First one pitch? One. It was three and one, so she took two balls, and Huskers were down two at the time, and she had a three run home run wow. to take the lead. I, I don't know that I've ever seen that That's where somebody crazy. subbed in with a 1-1 pitch and then hits a home run. Wow. It, was, it was pretty cool. So the Andrews sisters have got it going on and they're local talent, so really cool it's to amazing. see. amazing, yeah. How about the pitching and the one-two punch and of Olivia Farrell, uh, Courtney Wallace, mm -hmm. how big that's been? And they seem to kind of have found a rhythm here yep. in the middle of the season. Yep, so I always say the two storylines are you got the sophomore sluggers and um, in the box and then you've got the senior captains in the circle. So uh, it it always starts in the circle. Um, they set the tone for the game, and Courtney and Olivia are both captains on the team, along with fellow senior Carly Sievers. Um, so it's it's been really cool to see them develop this year. And what what I really like is, you know, they're not perfect all the time, but they always fight through. I mean, Courtney gave up, you know, a few runs in the opening game against Rutgers, and she redefined herself in the next inning, and she tried new pitches and goes back to her changeup. So I think that that 
senior mentality is really important that they don't get flustered if they do get down early they continue fighting and then the rest of the team can really follow that lead so going into Michigan State a team that has not been very good um, how do you approach this weekend knowing that you have put together 10 wins in a row mm -hmm. but you need to take care of business against the teams that you should beat right yeah absolutely I mean Michigan State they're one and six in um, the Big Ten right now so they're at the bottom of the conference but they did take one against Ohio State last weekend and Ohio State is a top 25 team so you know it's one of those things you can't take any games off you really want to go in there and um, one at a time but take care of business because the Big Ten is loaded this year so I mean it's uh, Nebraska's sitting pretty good for postseason right now but you really want to be you know in those top four Big Ten teams to really put together a good resume for postseason so these are games that really count and it would be really great to go and see if they could get three wins and get another sweep. Break down the Big Ten yeah. uh, for us and what teams could potentially be at the top and, and how it kind of stands right now. Yeah, we, we always say like if you're in the top 40 of RPI, you're in a pretty good standing and Big Ten has seven teams right wow. now, which is incredible. So really strong year um, for the Big Ten. Northwestern has been the real surprise. So they're ranked eighth overall right now and have three top 10 wins. So they have beat UCLA, beat Clemson, beat Washington, they beat Oregon. Unfortunately, Nebraska does not play um, Northwestern this year. I was I would have liked to see that matchup, but um, Nebraska does get to play. There's three really tough series in a row to kind of end out the season. They play on the road at Ohio State, on the road at Wisconsin, and then Minnesota at home. And those are all teams that are um, kind of receiving votes in the top 25 as well. So really, really packed um, house in the Big Ten this year, which is good to see after there was a couple down years. And then the name that they're still in the top 25, but they're not at the top that you're used to hearing is Michigan. So I'm mm -hmm. um, still a really good program. They're still in top 25 right now, but Nebraska went and took two from them. And that was two really good road wins. Speaking of, I mean, we went through this thing with women's basketball. We had a lot of people asking about when are they going to be mm -hmm. ranked and they mm -hmm. never ended up being ranked and they probably should have at one point. When's the softball team going to be ranked? I, know, I saw in one of the polls, I think it was the ESPN poll, they got um, a vote for top 25. So it's good to at least see the name, you know, at the bottom there of teams receiving votes. Um, so if, if this win streak, you know, continues, I think, you know, they can. But those games against Wisconsin, Ohio State, and Minnesota, I think those three series will be critical. And if they come out on top in those series, I think they'll definitely finish um, in the top 25 at the end of the season. I just, um, I think those series needed to be earlier in the season if, if they were going to crack in right now. So that's the softball part of your job. Let's talk about development. And I mean, look at this facility yeah. coming up over there. And that's a lot of intrigue and interest by our, our fans and listeners, how quickly it's going up. How yeah. impressive is it for you to walk over here and see that? I know. it's We, we need to get over here more to check it out because it, you go a week without looking at it and the amount of steel that's going up and the platforms and you can see the elevator bays um, just really really cool to see I'm, I'm hoping a lot of fans can kind of walk over here for the spring game to see the progress and just take a lot of pride in, um, in what this building is going to be and um, the big plug for the building as everyone knows though is it's, it's, it's football focused but it's for all student athletes and um, it's going to be really cool that it'll still be a central hub um, where our student athletes can come together for the training table and for academics and um, that's something that's really unique to Nebraska. I've been to a lot of schools where everything is siloed and you're all over the place and I think our student athletes really like that they kind of have that central hub where they can all come together. So if someone's listening that um, is hearing for the first time maybe how they can get involved mm -hmm. with the project, where would you point them to? Yep, you can head to huskers.com slash donate um, if you want to support the project. It's um, we are still finishing up fundraising for phase two um, like anything else right now. I mean labor prices went up a lot of the steel prices went up so the overall cost of the building did increase so our goal of fundraising we did have to um, kind of move our <laughs> move our end goal um, which is always a good challenge but um, a lot of donors have really stepped up to the occasion for this project and um, it, it's going to be really cool to see and just I think a lot of people are going to take a lot of pride because they know that they contributed to it and it's 
And it's not just big gifts. I mean, we have had a lot of campaigns where everything from $100 and up makes a huge difference when all of those collective gifts come together. And it's then it's something that you know, you know, you kind of took a part of as well. Absolutely. I think it's cool too that there has been so much progress made, and it's such a huge recruiting weekend mm -hmm. for programs that now you can say, hey, look, because it's hard to kind of yeah. for me personally, it's hard for me to see things without it taking shape but now it's taking shape you can see how impressive that thing's gonna oh, be oh yeah oh yeah and it, and I'm excited to see you know the final renderings and once um, a lot of that gets released you know we've seen kind of the what it'll look like on the outside and um, the backside with the balcony and the weight room but I know they're working on a lot with the inside as well and just how modern it's gonna be and technology inside the building so uh, it, it'll be really interesting and really exciting to see how it ends up at the end because um, I feel like every single year something new comes out and you got to put that in as well so they've made some adjustments on the fly. Well Maddie appreciate your time and uh, can't wait to hear more of you on the radio you had so much I, I enjoy I learn a lot every time I listen to you. Oh, Nate, awesome so. yeah and I'll just my last thing to say is just there's three more series to see this team at home so uh, make sure you catch uh, Nebraska softball and show up to support them because they deserve it and um, the big weekend, if I were to push one, um, would be to come out on April 16th. So we've got a really nice dedication um, for the playground that's opening to honor two former Huskers, a former Husker football player and former Husker softball player who tragically lost their son. And the playground's opening up. So if, you, if you're listening and you're like, I've been wanting to go to a softball game, I'm going to push you to April 16th to join us um, out at Bolin Stadium. Awesome. Great stuff, Maddie. Appreciate your time. And uh, we're going to step aside here on Sports Sightly, take a quick break, but we're back with more coming up right after this. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer opens like every other seltzer, pours like every other seltzer, but it's not like every other seltzer. USDA certified organic, no added sugar, and low cal. So you've never seen another seltzer quite like it. And with new refreshing flavors like black cherry and watermelon strawberry, you've never tasted one like it either. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, as real as it tastes. Enjoy responsibly, not a low calorie food. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer, IRC Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Pivot control has never been easier. T&L Irrigation now offers a new control panel called Precision Point Touch. It's a full color 7 inch graphic touchscreen that's easy to use and gives you lots of great tools to make your irrigation faster and more efficient. Set up your pivots the way you want. You can update your older controls to the new Precision Point Control Panel too. Call your local T&L dealer or visit TLIRR.com. T&L Irrigation, like no other. The 2022 Mazda CX-5's inviting interior and eye-catching exterior combine passenger comfort and driving pleasure. Equipped with standard all-wheel drive, the award-winning 2022 Mazda CX-5 creates confidence on your journey. The interior surrounds you with sophistication tailored to you. It's a CUV crafted for together. Shop the 2022 Mazda CX-5 by visiting one of our two convenient Woodhouse Mazda locations or shop online at woodhouse.com. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more at neffafoundation.org. Brought to you by Central Valley Ag, growing agriculture together, and Big Iron Auctions, Rural Connections, Respected Values, Real Deals. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine, your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throwing pass, caught by Manning at the 10. Alludes a border maker to the 5. One more Manning dive. Touchdown, Nebraska. Yes. Big Red Football is back. The Huskers will kick off their spring game this Saturday at 1.05 p.m. Central. Huskers Radio Network pregame coverage begins at 11 a.m. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. A tradition of winning doesn't happen overnight. Like any team, you got to be tough, play smart, and work hard. No one understands this more than Ford Motor Company. They built the best team in the game with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 45 years straight. The iconic Ford Bronco and the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Shop online at buyfordnow.com or visit your local Ford dealer to buy or custom build the perfect truck or SUV for you. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory-installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best-in-class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Rush Kubota in West Point or Roar's Machinery in Beatrice. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. As we welcome you back to Sports Nightly, I'm Jessica Cootie, and joined by a special guest here in studio, Beth Parks, who is with Alumni Hall. Big weekend coming up this weekend. Not only a spring game, but a big weekend downtown, um, down on Alumni Hall as you guys are having your grand opening weekend and lots of fun stuff going on down there this weekend. Yes, we are so excited and we have worked really hard to be ready for this weekend in particular um, and trying to get the uh, everything shiny and nice for in the morning uh, when we open at 10 a.m. Well, tell us what's all going into it. You guys are having the ribbon cutting ceremony. I know you have lots of fun things going on throughout the entire weekend. Yes, so we... Um, we are kicking off the day with um, shopping with Herbie. Um, we're going to do the ribbon cutting first, and then if you want to shop with Herbie and just come check out the store, um, we'll have the Spirit Squad in later from 3 to 5, and we'll have giveaways all weekend long. Um, we're so excited about the store, and our, um, our managers and employees have worked around the clock to put the bells and whistles and finishing touches on the store. Um, but it is a new exciting vibe to um, the Huskers shopping experience and um, we really took the store down to the studs um, to create that um, you know really well thought out plan so when you walk in you are going to be game ready and excited to go to the baseball game or the football game or the spring game this Saturday and uh, we would we'd love for people just to come check it out. What kinds of gear and merchandise and all of that can Husker fans buy in, in the alumni hall? 
Um, of course, we've got um, our two for 38 um, tees. Um, we have jewelry accessories, all of the men wear, the sideline apparel. Um, we also have um, unique jewelry where our accessories buyer picks out the beads and the bracelets and have them made specifically for us. But we have games like cornhole, um, you know, basketball shooting game um, that you can see in the store tomorrow, um, along with Nebraska solo stoves, um, lots of lots of stuff to make sure that you have everything that you need for your tailgate or your party or your your you know, your viewing party at your house, you'll have everything that you need to show your Nebraska spirit. That's awesome. I know you guys say you have the ultimate shopping experience. What sets Alumni Hall apart? Really? Um, so we are opening at um, 1120 P Street, um, which it might sound familiar because it's the former um, Husker headquarters location. Um, and we really, we took that store down to the studs and reconfigured it um, it looks like um, when you walk in, you get really excited. It's got a, a fantastic um, just fan vibe. Um, we have um, wall art that that only we carry. So any of like the architectural structures on campus um, that you know you guys are so famous for to sport shots. Um, specific plays that are, are framed and like you know well-known uh, play of the games so we've got um, unique uh, items but then also when you walk in you've got you know your pom-pom jewel your jewelry your favorite shirts and sweatshirts and um, I'm I promise you you'll find something that you <laughs> you will need to have it's awesome visiting with Beth Parks from Alumni Hall as they get set to have their grand opening celebration all throughout this weekend. I know you guys are excited about some of the f uh, future possibilities with NIL, getting involved in the community. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about some of those things? Yes, definitely. So um, we have two stores. Um, the P Street location is the one that has been recently updated, and we're just waiting for our sign to be hung on the building. Um, but we also have one on 56th Street. And um, part of our plan is, um, and what we would like to do is be be a part of the community. We want to support our players at the university, and then we also want to support you know community community charities, um, little league sports, and things like that. So we've already been having conversations um, to to give back to the community, and um, and have gotten some great responses. Um, in addition, um, we are looking to do NIL meet and greets. Um, moving forward so once we are open and we can all catch our breath just a little bit um, we'll be having you know maybe some football players or volleyball players and for meet and greets and autograph signings which would be really exciting how cool that's awesome looking forward to that you know when you guys decided to move into that spot and, and take over why was this um, Lincoln and Nebraska an opportunity you guys wanted to take advantage of well we know that you guys have the best fans by <laughs> far um there's a super passionate fan base here so we're just as, as excited as you guys are to kind of support the red and um and wear our nebraska and corn huskers gear proudly okay well tell fans where they can find you and all the details of how they can get involved this weekend too yeah definitely so um our green hope opening celebration is all weekend long um, we start tomorrow at 10 a.m. shopping with Herbie Husker. Um, we'll have giveaways Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We are giving away some awesome prizes. So we have a Nebraska solo stove, which is one of those smokeless fire pits, which are incredible if you haven't seen one before. Um, we have cornhole boards. We have a big gift card to give away. We have autograph balls from Coach Bolt and some baseball game tickets to give away. So we'll be giving those away throughout the weekend. In addition to that, make sure to follow us on social media. We'll be doing uh, sporadic gift card giveaways to new followers. And um, that will be something that you'll see, you know, as you follow us, we'll do, especially if there's a big event or a big game that we win, you know, we'll do a giveaway or a surprise uh, for our, our fans. So um, we'll have food and cookies and, you know, it's just going to be a party environment. Um, 
so you know make sure to come and check us out we're at um, 1120 p street um, that's where the celebration is happening um, but if you can't get downtown you can um, also check us out at the 56th street location so uh, social media platforms where can fans find you there Yes, definitely. We are on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can follow us at Alumni Hall UNL or just type in Alumni Hall um, Lincoln and you'll be able to find us there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Beth Parks with Alumni Hall, and can't wait to see all the fun stuff going on this weekend. Down yes, there. we're super excited and we hope you come and check us out. All right. Thanks to Beth for joining us. We're going to step aside for another break here on Sports Nightly. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Valley 365 is here, and the time is now to take your farming technology full circle. Valley 365 is the ultimate command center, the new single sign-on platform that brings together our tried and true technology and streamlines your entire operation. Combining the best features of AgSense, Valley Scheduling, Valley VRI, and Valley Insights, Valley 365 is the next level solution for connected crop management. Leverage your data, make the most of your time, and own your tomorrow. Contact your Valley dealer today. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Vickers 1-2, Squire swings and lifts a fly ball to center and deep. Fawcett going back, but it's gone! A home run for Abby Squire, her sixth of the year, make it 6-4 to four Huskers. Nebraska softball looks to stay undefeated in the Big Ten when the Huskers travel to Michigan State to open a conference series tomorrow. Join Matt Cookney for all the action, beginning with pregame at 4.50, first pitch at 5 on the Huskers radio network, Huskers.com, and the official Nebraska Athletics app. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and Bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you can win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Mattingly Lee coming set, and the pitch. Drill to left field. Going back is Harrison Dink looking up, and it is gone. Home run, Colby Gomez. We've got a one-run game. Tomorrow, Nebraska baseball is back at home to take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights at Haymarket Park. First pitch is set for 6.35 p.m. with pregame coverage beginning on the Huskers radio network at 6.00. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. So, uh, 
This date was really fun. Yeah, thanks for dinner. For sure. <clears throat> for sure. <laughs> Not really sure why I'm playing with my keys. I, I literally took an Uber here. Oh, me too. Wow. <laughs> Can I Wanna ride grab around? A Start the night out right. Because you can't drive drunk if you don't drive there. Decide to ride. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. Copyright 2022, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Welcome back to Sports Nightly, our final show of the week. So let's talk a little bit more spring football, shall we, with the annual spring game coming up on Saturday. Jeremiah Searles and I recorded the latest edition of the Sideline Scoop, so wanted to dive in a little bit more with what he's looking for out of this Saturday's spring game. But started off, with, what are the players feeling going into this Saturday? as a young player this is your first chance to go play in front of 50,000 to 60,000 eyes right like it's one thing to practice and, and maybe you didn't play last year as a true freshman or even maybe you've been a couple years before you've actually seen the field but maybe now you're kind of next in line to get out on the field and this is a dry run right it's a dry run and it's not just a practice like it's a game like it is fans and environment and Pre-game like routine and everything like this is a really good opportunity that you can't waste, especially as a young player. Now, as an older player, you're just ready for the triple zeros to hit <laughs> in the fourth quarter and be done with spring football and move on to the next thing because your body's been through it. But it's a good blend of everything, and I think even as an older player with the new stuff, especially on the offensive side of the ball, with the new stuff that's been put in, you're really probably excited to get out there and showcase some of this new stuff too. You've been out to practice, got a little bit of a feel for it. We'll learn a little bit more on Saturday, but you told me at Pro Day when you were talking about it that, hey, this could potentially be a, a good football team. What, what stuck out to you, what stood out to you that made you feel that when you left that practice? You know, there was a lot of energy at the practice, and it was the practice after the spring break. So, like, that's usually kind of a down practice, but I didn't really feel like there was a lapse in energy at all, and you can build from that. Right, like you can't build from poor effort. Like, but I felt like the effort was really well. They're still mixing and matching pieces and kind of filling pieces. Who's there? You got guys that are injured. You get guys kind of all around. But I thought the quality of the product itself looked pretty good for spring football. It is nowhere game shape, but no one is at this point in the year. I mean, I watched some of Michigan's spring game the other day. Like, eh, okay. <laughs> like they look like they're being the they're crawling before they walk. Right. That's where everybody is at this time of year. And so I just want to see the biggest thing that I'm looking for, like that I saw at that practice. I want to correlate over to Saturday is just how efficiently things move right like you don't have to have procedure penalties you don't have to have substitution penalties like you just want to have a clean like efficient game flow is what I'm looking for on Saturday there's going to be mistakes on the field that's what happens when you're playing young guys you're playing guys in different positions just trying to get through the game but the way that the game flows and the unforced errors would be things I'd like to see that things you can really work on in the spring so I feel like most people, you ask, what are you most looking forward to seeing on Saturday? Everyone would say the quarterbacks. But I feel like for you, I have to say other than the offensive line or quarterback. So give me what you're looking for, not offensive line and not quarterback. You know, it's, I'm going to go easy, defensive line, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you lose Ben Stilley, who's been here since I played. And then you have D Daniels is also gone, right? And then Casey, Casey Rogers might not be in there. Like, okay, who are the, who's the next breed of D lineman that's going to come in and contribute, right? And there's some names in there you got Nash got in there a little bit last year right I mean Ty Robinson came a long way from the year before you got Weaver who's just a massive human that might get in there but I mean you lose some big pieces that played a lot of snaps on that defensive line last year which in my opinion was a strength of this football team and so when you graduate guys like that it's always a worry and a concern of, okay, how big is the drop off of this unit? Not just player to player, but as a unit overall. When you were able to rotate guys in last year and not really have a big drop off, kind of what's your depth look like there? Not just the guys that are starters, but hey, what do the guys behind them look like? And just kind of like, hey, can any of these guys get to the quarterback? Hmm. Sacks is something that 
it's no secret. Chins knows it. We got to get more sacks than we did the year ago. Who's going to be a guy that we don't have to scheme up a, a blitz or a, a Henrik or a Reimer coming around the edge or a Joe? We don't have JoJo coming off the like coming off a corner anymore. Like who's going to step up? Is it Garrett Nelson? Is it Caleb Tanner? Who, who's going to step up and go? I'm going to get to the quarterback when we rush four or we rush three. I'm going to do it, and I'm waiting to see if we if it maybe groomed a guy into that position this year. How big is the spring game for this program? I mean, a lot of former players come back, and you got recruits in town. How big is this day? It's huge. It's a huge day. I mean, not only for the recruits, but for the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, the state's been looking forward to this since we closed up shop against Iowa last year, right? I mean, everyone's just like, okay, well, football's over. I'll see y'all in April when we all get back together and tailgate and get back to feeling like it's Husker football in, in Nebraska again. And so not just for the players, but the state's ready for this. I think we all are excited about what this year could be look at the schedule and look at what we could do and kind of what it looks like and this is the first step in a long process but we do have to remind ourselves what we see on april uh, april 8th i believe this saturday Ninth. is april 9th and saturday is not going to be the same team that shows up in northwestern so let's not let's not start comparing like oh we just like we have a long ways to go from there but again we laid the foundation of what this team can be during the spring you can hear that full episode of the sideline scoop with searles out right now on our podcast platforms from a former offensive lineman that's played in this game in the past, one that's going to be playing in it on Saturday, Trent Hickson, one of the favorites to maybe fill in that spot at center, replacing Cam Jurgens. I got a chance to sit down with him for this, this Saturday's Cornhusker conversation. Different. It's just trying to prove myself to, to the coaches, to the Husker fan base, and just trying to improve and get better. Um, Rayla came in and he's uh, shown us new techniques and uh, new style and just trying to adopt that and using the information I learned last year and just building onto it is really, really what spring is all about. What's kind of the biggest thing that he implements? I mean, I know there's a lot of layers to what a coach wants their individual position groups to, to do, but what was his number one message when he first came in and talked to you guys? Uh, less thinking and more attacking. Love it. Mm -hmm. Have you, has that clicked with you guys, you feel like? Yeah, I, I think over the past 14 practices, it's really, it's really uh, grown a lot, and it's been, uh, there's been a lot of strides taken and a lot of growing pains, but I think by practice 14 compared to practice one, we look like a completely different unit. So you were playing left guard, right? And then, and, and we're starting at left guard and then made the move to center. You're backing up Cam last year. Talk to me about the move to center. How did that come about that you thought, okay, let me move to center and see how that works for me? It was kind of a need-based thing, but I think it really fits me well. Um, it, there's a lot more moving parts at center, so I definitely had to increase my football knowledge, which I think for anybody is an asset that that they can use at any position. So I know I can move to other positions if need be, but center really just fits me, and I it feels like a feels like I was made to play center. What was the process like getting into snapping the football and all those details that goes into being a center? Yeah, the the growing pains of learning how to snap. I did a little bit in high school. Never played uh, center in high school, but just a little bit of snapping and. I, it's just trying to learn the the feeling of snapping and then also knowing how plays are meant to work and trying to set up everybody to be successful at the start of a play and seeing how that works is really uh, really mind boggling sometimes especially when you first start out so trying to figure that out and understanding it better uh, helps the team win which is the ultimate goal. When Cam Jarrett, and you can hear that full conversation with Trent Hickson as a part of our pregame show coming up that starts at 11 a.m. on Saturday. All right, got to work in our final break, but we're back to wrap up, wrap up the show right after this. A tradition of winning doesn't happen overnight. Like any team, you got to be tough, play smart, and work hard. No one understands this more than Ford Motor Company. They built the best team in the game with Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks 45 years straight the iconic Ford Bronco, and the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Shop online at buyfordnow.com or visit your local Ford dealer to buy or custom build the perfect truck or SUV for you. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. In a world where fun and cash prizes collide, one game explodes to the forefront. Cash Blast from the Nebraska Lottery. Non-stop excitement, a winning thrill ride and starring you. Until April 12th, 
play 2x2 weekly for a chance to win $5,000 or $500. And if your ticket was a seven-day draw, your prize is double. Don't miss it. Cash Blast playing at a lottery retailer near you. 2x2 top prize odds, 1 in 105000 This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help us with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. J.D. Power ranked shelter insurance number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region and number one in price. See agents Natalie Vampola or Michael Reeves in Omaha or in Plattsmouth, see agent Julie Null. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. Final segment here on Sports Nightly before we will... Uh, have a big weekend of Husker athletics, including the spring game, which just mentioned that our pregame coverage will start at 11 a.m. with Jeremiah Searles and Greg Sharp. And then we will bring you all the coverage leading up to baseball, which will take over right at the end of the spring game. But baseball will have their first pitch on, of the series coming up Friday, 6.35, 6 o'clock pregame for that one. But if you're still looking to come to the spring game on Saturday, want to remind you that tickets are still available. Sold about 50,000, right, right around 50,000. Had a big week this week, but it's $10 right now. But if you walk up to the gate and buy them on the day of the game, it's up to $20. So you'll want to make sure and purchase those and, and get them ahead of time so that you can save a little money there. But make sure you get your tickets, be there in attendance it should be a fun game and hopefully looks like the weather will hopefully be improving and it's not like what we had today but it's about to be around 61 62 should be a great one out there all right so we appreciate you tuning in uh, for this edition of sports nightly the sports nightly hotline is brought to you by woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brands 16 convenient locations simplified car buying to save you time shop finance and buy online at woodhouse.com all right. Well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. And again, make sure you tune in 11 a.m. for our pregame coverage of all of the spring game pregame show. And you can hear that Cornhusker conversation with Trent Hicks. And he goes into all of the ins and outs of what it's been like stepping in to fill that role from Cam Jurgens and what's gone on to moving from left guard into center. So it's a fascinating conversation. He's also got his degree in accounting and almost done with his um, master's degree in accounting. So impressive guy there. You can hear that full conversation on Saturday beginning at 11 a.m. And uh, again, Friday, 635, first pitch for baseball. And we got the pregame show with Greg and Ben coming up at 6 o'clock. All right, thanks to Tim back there for running the show for us. And thanks to, for you, thanks to you for listening. And enjoy your spring game weekend, Husker Nation. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Don't let the cold winter worry you. As Nebraska's leading supplier of propane, you can count on Sap Brothers to keep your family warm this winter. You're like family, and your safety is the number one priority of Sap Brothers. When it comes to your propane needs, Sap Brothers has you covered. Visit www.sapbros.net slash petroleum to find your local Sap Brothers propane expert. Celebrating 50 years of fueling America's heartland and welcoming guests, Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. There's always a reason to celebrate, and we are, at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair during the Jeep Celebration Event. From the legendary 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee to the redesigned new Jeep Compass, Jeep carries a lineup of capable SUVs built for modern adventures on and off-road. Don't miss out. Shop now during the Jeep Celebration Event in-store in Blair or online at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to the seventh inning stretch, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call or visit SOSHVAC.com today. SOS to the rescue. 